Cities across the Northwest are trying to find solutions to the homeless crisis. Now, a man from Albany says he's found one. In a story that's all new at 6, Fox News Kendrick Kent shows us his vision is now on its way to reality. We recently met a man named Jason Christensen who started Sleep Trailers. He says the company motto is a bed for every head, and he's hopeful it could soon be a solution to get people out of tents and off the streets. I saw a gentleman sleeping under a business overhang, and I just thought, this can't be the best that we can do for human beings. It was a day back in 2016 that Jason Christensen would never forget, a time when Oregon's homeless crisis was just becoming much more visible and prevalent. I was very upset and, and frustrated, and I said, why isn't somebody doing something about this? And then in that exact moment, I got this kind of punch to the gut, that <laughs> just said, you're somebody, why aren't you doing something about this? For the 36-year-old Albany man, it was a profound question that would spark an idea that in turn led to drawings on notepads and napkins and a dream to make a difference. Five years later, the sketches have become reality and the dream is taking shape. So this particular model and design is uh, two stories. This is our double-decker design, so there are four pods on the bottom and there's four pods on the top. Doors are flipped so the doors for the upper units are on the opposite side. It's called the sleep trailer and Christensen says he hopes his business can be a cost effective and dignified solution to providing temporary housing. He told Fox 12 he modeled his sleep trailer after Japanese capsule hotels which are little more than a bed and some room for belongings. What it really came down to for me was safety and security and privacy. He took the leap on his idea last year investing his money and partnering with a local Salem business to build this model. We met and he had ideas and actually I think they were on a napkin or a piece of paper. We took those ideas and we put them into our design group and uh, managed to come up with this prototype and we're anxious and excited to have this out there. Out Fitted with smoke detectors, CO2 sensors, and heating and cooling, Christensen says other key specs include mobility and what he considers most important of all. There's safety and security. You can lock it. You can leave your stuff during the day and know that it's going to be there when you get back. One of the big issues with Tent City is this fear of losing everything that you have because what you have is in a ton so everything you have becomes of infinite worth. Christensen says this eight unit sleep trailer would cost a city or nonprofit about $65,000. There's also options to build a larger sleep trailer or single story ones. Christensen told Fox 12 he's met with cities and nonprofits around the state, including Mayor Ted Wheeler's office in Portland, and is hopeful a pilot program somewhere could soon be in the works. Finding the right person or the right organization that will help us take it, use it, develop that proof of concept. It's a labor of love for this dad of three. His other dream, setting the right example for his kids. You know, that's what something that brings me a lot of pride is just seeing my kids know that their dad was willing to put it all on the line and try to make the world a better place. You know, as a dad, like, there's no better feeling than that. Christensen says the benefits also extend beyond homelessness. He says he envisions his sleep trailers as temporary solutions during wildfires or other disasters when mass housing might be needed very quickly. If you are interested in learning more about sleep trailers, just head to our website, kptv.com. We'll have a link to Jason's website there. Reporting in studio, Kendra Kent, Fox 12 Oregon. What a great idea. I love that he found out he was that somebody yes. to make that change. Really terrific.